right, once again, we are going to be looking at gold. So this is the 180-day, 4-hour candlestick chart. Just zooming in a little bit closer, um, we will look at what action we had today, and there was uh, a lot going on. Um, so yesterday we had talked about um, gold prices uh, potentially moving through this moving average or potentially coming down to test this trend line once again and that is exactly what happened uh, that that second uh, option we came down late last night um, and we're selling off into the morning hours came all the way down to uh, 1284.90 so we held that 1285 level and we had plenty of buyers to come in and buy that dip um, shot all the way back up to this 1298, just a hair above it to 1298.50 uh, before we saw some sellers uh, step in and bring the price back down. So I'd say that we are still consolidating in this zone of, um, I guess now you could expand it to 1298, um, mainly down to uh, this 1290 level, and we saw that it broke down to this 1285, but there was buyers uh, ready um, still we're making uh, lower lows so we would want to see maybe it pull back down um, but not as low as before and then maybe curl back up um, but there's still the potential that uh, if we come down here and this moving average starts to curl over um, that we might break through the 1290 and head lower um, but we'll move in a little bit closer on gold. This is forward slash GC. So this is gold futures. I'm moving to a 15 minute chart. So you can see, uh, I guess it was mainly this morning, uh, not necessarily last night, but you can see that uh, we had our highs last uh, night or early, early this morning around 145. Uh, we peaked out up here at uh, 1297, 1298. Um, so we definitely know that that is a resistance that we'll have to get through is that 1298 before we even see 1300 that'll be a, a, a big zone to break and maybe if we break that 1298 with some steam um, then we'll see 1300 go by a little bit quicker um, but right now uh, just looking at this you can see we had a waterfall sell off uh, all the way down to this 1284.90 level and uh, then then the buyer stepped in this was right around market open um, in the stock market uh, and so we saw all these buyers step in carry it all the way back up um, to this 1298 just a little bit above 1298 but it could not hold it so it traded back down and now we are looking at uh, if it can potentially reverse again and maybe go up and try and break 1300 tomorrow or maybe sometime early next week but again if this comes down uh, even further this evening which right now it, it seems to be uh, trying to find some sort of support but it just keeps selling off we're now down to the 1295 level um, then we might see into Friday that it just continues to dump and goes lower than this 1285 level um, so we'll just back out again um, Still the 1290 level, that could be where we find support down here. If we were to come and test this trend again, just keep bouncing off of it until we finally break and move higher. Or if we come try and bounce one more time, don't see any uh, higher highs, uh, maybe get met with some resistance, uh, then we'll see it break lower. But let's go ahead and look at JNUG and JDST. JNUG and JDST and see what movement we had today because um, there was definitely some money to be made um, so we'll take it out to the four hour chart we still have all of our trends drawn um, so again what I said yesterday was that we uh, could come down um, so last night uh, let's see I'm pretty sure I uh, did my video right in here so I said that we we could potentially continue climbing higher if we if we kept this moving average the nine day on the four hour we continue moving higher but um, as we saw gold prices began to fall and so did the price of JNUG 
So that's why we see these uh, this big red candle. And then into market open, we dipped all the way down to uh, 873 before we saw the buyer step in and we will move to a closer time frame just so that you can see it a little bit more clearly so we sold off into uh, or in the pre-market hours all the way down that first 15 minute candlestick is where we saw the lows of the day and then we saw all the buyers step in and if you recall me saying in the previous video, we might try and back test this trend line, and that is where you would want to sell maybe part of your position. If you did enter into a position um, when JNUG moved lower, uh, so that would have been a good trade if you saw buyers stepping in here uh, to go ahead and uh, buy in um, with maybe a stop uh, a little bit lower. Uh, just because it was a little bit volatile, but um, could have had a, a, a relatively uh, short stop and then have a sell up here by this trend, maybe in the 970 ballpark. Um, we hit highs of 983, so we, we poked through this, um, this trend line, but didn't move any higher. Um, we saw a pretty good day, 6% gain on JNUG. And if you bought it at the lows of the day, you're probably looking at like a 10% increase. Yeah, so about 11% increase. We go wick to wick. It's probably uh, 12. Um, but definitely, you could have had some uh, some gains here. Um, but again, if if you were wanting to trade this smartly and look for a uh, point to sell, because that's always kind of hard. You know, you get into a trade. And you think, oh, you know, it's just going to keep going up and up, especially with something that gains 6% in a day. You're like, oh, well, you know, it, it might just keep rolling or you hold it into the next day thinking it's going to go up another 6%. And it, it might. Um, I wouldn't necessarily uh, put all my money into that basket thinking it's going to go up another 6% today or tomorrow. Um, I, I would have sold a little bit of my position here at the 970 level. Um Waited to uh, have a pullback maybe to the 950, uh, maybe even a little bit lower to the 940s. Um, wait for it to get some consolidation before buying back in if it shows signs of going upward. So um, we definitely had some good trend lines drawn here um, and, and a, a fairly decent strategy in place um, to, to uh, make some money here. Um, on the flip side, we will look at JDST just to see how that uh, panned out because um, it's along the same lines, but you know, it's nice to look at two different charts. Um, so uh, once again, we'll zoom in just a little bit closer on the four hour um, time frame. Uh, so last night made the video, oop, excuse me, hold on, here we go. Made the video right around here. We had seen all these red candles um, and and this this big wick on JDST on Wednesday, and it closed with a green candle on the four hour. And you can see it, it popped above this moving average, this nine day moving average, um, all the way into market open, as we saw gold sell off. Uh, but then JDST sold off as the price of gold. Um, really just uh, ripped up uh, all those buyers stepping in so what we're looking at here and what I think would be a probable scenario would be that we see JDST move a little bit higher JNUG move a little bit lower along with the prices of gold um, until we see this moving average curl on the four hour chart and then see a red candle close below um, this moving average uh, I think that would be a good sign to buy JNUG at that point. Along with looking at that chart, we probably see that it had a candle close above its 4-hour 50-day uh, moving average. Um, so we, we can start to see the 100 days starting to level off. Uh, still not sure if it's going to curl over. Uh, it may curl back up, and it might take JDST all the way back up to these uh, $45 price levels. Um, we'll have to watch that. Uh, I think if we see this 100 start to curl down 
along with this kind of consolidating and uh, making lower lows, uh, then that will be a sign that the price of gold is going up and along with the price of uh, JNUG. Um, and if, if you had a position uh, here with JDST and you bought in here, maybe have a stop down here in this 38 level. Uh, again, these wicks can be really big and the price uh, can move very quickly, but you just want to save yourself from having any you know, monumental drops like this where you're losing 6% and you're just bag holding, uh, waiting for the uh, price to go back up. Um, so if you wanted to buy in maybe on these wicks down here around the 3850 level, um, maybe even to 39, not, I mean, that looks like a pretty solid trade. You know, you might get it back up to this 40 mark, um, and it may continue to rise, uh, but even if it goes up to this 40 and starts to sell off, you may have uh, taken some profit there um, as a smart trader. Uh, what I would really want to see is that JDST, if it is going to uh, continue moving higher, I'd want to see it make a higher high from these highs of today, or at least come up to that level and hold that level. Um, if it cannot hold that level, um, I think that we would be going lower um, or just zigzagging for the next couple of days. Uh, but again, we'll have to look at the price of gold and see what it does and along with the overall markets. If the markets start to dip, I think that we will see that uh, the price of gold will increase and JDST will continue lower. Um, but we'll just have to watch that into Friday. Usually volume is a little bit lower, but if there are any shorts in the market trying to get out of their position, we can sometimes see some rallies on Friday. Um, which would bring down the price of gold. Uh, so we'll just have to watch it and see. I do think that we will open a little bit higher on JDST and uh, maybe uh, you know, fizzle out a little bit. Uh, that would that would be my estimation. Um, but this could definitely push higher. So if you're in right now, I would just watch that uh, as we go into the morning hours to see what uh, JDST is doing. Um, and if it shows uh, signs of continued upward movement, um, it may be a good buy for the day uh, to hold over the weekend. Or if you just want to get in for a quick day trade and not just holding it over the weekend, I think that, that might be a, a decent idea too. Um, but anywho, we'll just flip back over to the um, gold chart once again uh, and then just wrap this up. Uh, so again... Uh, we, we may see this push lower. Uh, I'll move it into a closer time frame just so that we can get the price action um, a little bit better. Uh, so you can see that we're still moving lower on, on gold. Uh, if we can hold this 100 day on the, on the 15 minute chart, I think that would be, that would be uh, sufficient to see that it would curl back up. Um, but if it breaks through this 100, um, maybe you want to see it down here at this 1293 level. If it can't hold there, maybe to see it bounce off this trend line again. Uh, if you were wanting to open a position in JNUG. Um, but we'll see what the markets do tomorrow. Thanks for watching.